thank you for participating in the Healthy Habits program. For those of you who received a binder, the pages for this session will be listed on the bottom of this video. For those of you that did not, you can access in this information on our website, www.dhfunforkids.com. Just look for the Healthy Habits section. Welcome to Session 8 of the Healthy Habits program. In today's session, we're going to talk about the meals that you eat, not at home, but at a school or at a summer program, like the Cliff Hagen Boys and Girls Club. Before we get into today's session, though, we've got a series of true or false questions that we want you to answer and think about. For those of you who do not have access to this page, we want you to think about them while I'm reading them. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's look at question number one. My school offers healthy foods I can eat for lunch. Most days I choose to eat a vegetable or fruit at lunch. Question number three. I like the choices for lunch at my school. Let's look at question number four. I bring my lunch to school most days. Number five. Even when I don't like the lunch at school, I try to eat a little bit of each food group. Number six. I don't like the choices for lunch at my school. And then lastly, number seven, I don't eat much of my lunch. Now let's look at today's question to think about. If or when you do not choose a healthier food option at school, what is the reason? Now please take the time to answer this question before today's activity. For today's activity, we're going to look for, at some of the excuses for why children do not eat healthy foods. We're also going to look at some of the arguments to be made against those excuses. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. Our first excuse that we have is, I do not choose healthy foods because they don't taste as good as the other options. And an argument that we can have for this excuse is this, that our healthy foods are good for you and the great nutrients can outweigh the flavor. The second excuse that we can often see is this, I do not choose healthy foods because my friends do not eat them. It is important to remember that it is your body, not theirs. Your body needs the nutrients. And then a third excuse we may often see is this. I do not choose healthy foods because they do not look or smell like they are good. Even if the food does not smell good, the food can still taste good. And also, this food will give you the nutrients that your body needs. Today we discovered ways to which we can find the pressure to not eat healthy foods when we are not at home. Whether you are at school or at a summer program, such as the Cliff Egg and Boys and Girls Club, you will have options to eat. It is important that you know that you have the choices that you can make. Now let's close today's session with our What I Like About Me page. This could be something you like about yourself, something positive, or something that makes you feel special. What I put for this session was, I enjoy playing sports.